Hi guys, what's going on and welcome back to another episode of Car Mechanic Simulator. I'm Evo Loz and today we are going to be looking at this Stratos. So, um, obviously a very iconic rally car. Um, we've got obviously the 2.4 litre V6, I think it's actually a Ferrari V6. Um, it's not a Lancia engine. Um, but obviously this is modern content so nothing's perfect. Um, I've made a start, I've got the engine out the back. It's got this slightly... Um, boxy looking rear f sort of a, a frame body frame which holds sort of the engine which I'm not quite sure is right. Um, I've had to take the wheels off to get some of the stuff so some of the suspension components kind of floating a little bit um, and we've got the engine out. Obviously thankfully the mod does actually use a V6 which is obviously a good start but there's some things on it I guess and perhaps not quite perfect. Uh, I, I'm not sure uh, the V6 would have been injector uh, over car although it could well have been an injection but um, perhaps a little bit early for injector rails so it's obviously not quite exactly the right engine um, and not quite the right configuration but it's still a pretty cool little setup so uh, I bought this car at the auction it looks like it's in pretty good condition all and all the engine looks pretty good um, and now all the body and everything looks almost perfect there's nothing really to do there uh, so we're just going to strip it down have a bit of a look at it perhaps put some new uh, some slightly you know better quality parts in uh, maybe try and up the, up the horsepower a little bit put it back in uh, and change it from this slightly disgusting green colour to something a little bit nicer and then we can take it for a spin in the track. So first things first let's start to get this thing disassembled. So we'll take off the uh, various head, uh, engine covers. So this should be, uh, a, it's, I think it's a 2.4 litre uh, V6, it's a Ferrari V6, I think it's from the, from the Dino um, cars. The Dino Ferrari series. But I don't think they used it for very long, didn't produce them that long because then they moved on to the uh, the V8. So I think it's quite a short lived um, engine. But it was used by Lancia in the Stratos, which obviously makes it a wonderful engine. So we'll get these various covers off. You can see, got the glare. Right, so then because it's, oh God, it's double enough of a headcam on each bank, so we're going to have. A lot of cam, cam cap, caps to remove to get all this lot out. Um, I'm not sure why. What are they retained by? Oh, is it only retained by the uh, timing gear? Okay, that's not so bad. So let's take each of these out. I don't know why there's so much light on that side all of a sudden. So we'll take these out, then we'll take the uh, timing cover off um, and get all the. Um, timing belts and the glue belts off and not the camshafts. Uh, so then we should be able to drop these camshafts out after that. So let's have a look at these timing covers. Get each of these off. Uh, I don't know if it's, it looks like it is a belt drive. Okay, that's fine. Um, so what have we got in terms of auxiliary stuff? Let's take the tensioning roller and then we'll take the belt off. We'll bracket there. Uh, so what does that leave me with? A crankshaft pulley? I can't take that off yet. I can take the alternator off. I guess that's the water pump. Oh, power steering pump. Another idle roller there. Then we can take this timing cover panel off. Um, then we can have a look. Is there a tensioner? Yes, there is. There it is. And I should now be able to take the actual belt off. Which I can. Uh, so I'm going to take each of the cam gears off. So now the cam uh, should be unretained. Although, I'm not quite sure where the actual timing belt is. Hmm, strange. I guess it's just timed off off the belt that's used for the water, same belt that's used for the water pump. Okay. So, take the water pump out. There's a lot of idle rollers and stuff on this one. Take all these off. Uh, take the crankshaft fully off, like so. Okay. So we've got all that off, all these camshafts should now drop out, they will, like so. Um, then we've got the two fuel rails, which I'm not convinced they necessarily should be there. And then the intake manifold. Voila! So, we'll take all the ignition coils and spark plugs out. Like so. Um, and the next set on the other side. We can see past the glare. I don't know why that's there. 
So we've got that out, so we'll take now the engine heads off, so we should expose... No, we can't, because we've still got the exhaust manifold on on the side. Take that off first. Once we take the heads off, we should be able to get access to the piston, so we'll then flip the engine over. Uh, where was that housing? And a random little floating fuel filter. So now we should be able to take the engine heads off, which we can. We'll get these two heads off, then we'll flip the whole thing over and take the sump off the bottom to access the crank. What's blocking that? Another exhaust manifold. So we'll drop that off and then we'll take this head off here uh, to access the pistons. Like so. Okay, so now it's going to pop out of that um, and rotate this engine stand for 180 degrees. Um, and then take the sump off the bottom. Like so. So then in here, we should be able to take all of the rod caps off. Of the uh, six pistons. And then we should be, should be able to remove each of the pistons. So we'll be replacing these with sort of more of a um, well, I don't know if they're technically forged pistons, but I guess they're um, slightly more higher rated pistons, um, which we're going to be able to then increase the horsepower of the engine. Modding, uh, you know, t tuning in this game is a little bit primitive at times, I guess, so uh, we can't always have everything perfect. Um, so we'll take all the clutch assembly off, the pressure plate, and there should be the actual clutch underneath here, and then a flywheel. Take that off, and take the flywheel off, and then, oh, there's just two... Uh, Crankshaft bearing caps, and then we can take the crankshaft out itself. Crankshaft out, and that should be the block to disassemble. Excellent. So let's just pop over to the repair bench. Most of the stuff's in pretty good condition. Uh, that would be just one or two bits. Oh god, I've got a lot of spare stuff in my inventory which I don't want to. Oh, let's just. How do we do this? That's it. Let's just spam through all this stuff. A lot of stuff that I've just got left over from the last Skyline build. But this looks like all the stuff we've got. So we'll just quickly click through this as quickly as possible. Excellent. Um, and then let's have a look over at the stand. So we'll have the block put back on. Brand new block. Um, so we're cutting it upside down obviously. So let's get the crankshaft in. Um, and get that retained. There should be another one of them. Which there is. So now we'll drop in the six pistons along with new piston rings. So we'll use the rated pistons. So just find each one of these. It looks like it's going to make us use uh, select the right one each time. Should give a little bit of increase to uh, engine power. Two to go. Okay, and now I've just got to put on a lot of rod caps, unfortunately. Um, these are all in good condition, 100 percenters. So we'll get these dropped in. And then we'll stick the oil sump back on the bottom and flip the thing sit back around. So we're back up the right way. There we go, drop the oil power on. I managed to remember to get a few things before doing this, but invariably I'll have forgotten some as so we'll have to pay a few visits to the shop, I suspect. So, so we're back the right way around and we've got our pistons back in, um, all the crankshaft and everything. So, next thing is uh, probably the two best things to do would be the engine heads. For some reason I only have one. So, let's go to the shop. Um, let's go to the tuning shop. Um, what am I looking for? Engine heads. Uh, yes, one of them. So between them, they give a 14% increase in power, which is obviously worth doing. Oh, it's got some very nice uh, red valve covers. Very fancy. So we'll stick our good one of them on the other side as well. And get that bolt into place. So we'll drop on. Um, yeah, we'll drop in the four camshafts, and then that will give me, then I can put the camshaft gear on, then we can do all the timing and auxiliary belt stuff now on the end. 
Uh, I didn't get any new cam gears. So, cam gears. Let's go to the shop. Um, I don't think they're going to be in there. Cam gear uh, V6. So we want four of those. So, let's get these dropped into place. Bit hard to remember. It seems like it's been ages since I last did a uh, car mechanic video. Well, it certainly has been um, almost probably like a month or something now. So it's quite nice to play this game after such a long gap. Um, so anyway, we've got the various cam gears back on. So then it's just a case of dropping in all these idle rollers. And the water pump should go in the middle there. Be good. Drop all these into place. And I have to go and get that. Uh, oops bracket for the bottom I haven't got. I assumed it would repair but it hasn't. Uh, so we've got a slightly how you actually get more power from having a, an improved alternator I'm, I'm not quite sure but uh, there we go. So the power steering pump's gone back in. Uh, so it's all we really want. Oh, we can drop that serpentine belt on. Thankfully I've got remember to get one of them. I haven't got a belt tensioner. Uh, so right, a belt tensioner and what was it called? What arm was it? Arm. This is called arm. Helpful. Arm. Um, I'm guessing that one. Um, and then I also want a belt tensioner. So let's head back over. Quickly drop these bits on. So belt tensioner. Screw it in. And arm. Uh, I forgot what the arm held. Um, then we've got the various timing covers that can go back on now. So, and the final part, and I think there's another little belt that just goes on top of all this lot, which just drives the uh, alternator and power steering pump etc. Oh there we go, a little idle roller on my arm, I guess that's acting as a, a, a tensioning roller. Okay cool, so we've got most of the timing stuff back on, so what have we got left to do? Uh, we've got uh, the heads, the spark plugs. Uh, thermostat, flywheel, and then, then the uh, exhaust and intake manifolds. So we'll sit this exhaust manifold back on. Like so. Uh, oil filter. I didn't remember to get another one of them. Uh, what was it? It was a white one, wasn't it? So we'll get that put back on. Nice and new. Uh, so we've got basically the camshaft bearings, which is a nice retaining block. They're a lot easier to put on than all the individual uh, all the camshaft caps that you normally have to deal with. Oh, I just realised that's not in full health, camshaft bearing. Okay, let's get another one of them. Then. I'm guessing that first one I put on was also not in optimum condition. Let's just take that back off. We might as well do it properly. So, we'll drop these four on. In good condition. Um, and then we've got this one here. And then let's do the same on the other side. In the glare. Last one. So then we can stick the engine covers back on, I think. Yes. There we go. One on there. Hold it back into place. Um, then we've just got the intake stuff. Uh, and then I think it's like the thermostat throttle body, that sort of thing. Uh, just a tag on. Almost there now. Uh, then we can drop this engine back into the car. And have a bit of a look at the bodywork. Uh, recently, the bodywork's kind of changed. Previously, you couldn't get any sort of spare body parts; they weren't available in the shop. Uh, but that's all changed now, so um, you can actually have sort of various different body kits for one car, um, and you can actually go and buy them in the shop. You can buy modded sort of contoured, modded uh, tool, modded body parts in the shop, which is obviously very cool. It's a nice little addition. 
Um, so we can perhaps have a quick look at some of them and then hit the paint shop and see what we get. So we've got the throttle body and we've got a, a nice upgraded throttle body with some glorious red. Uh, and the thermostat housing, just put that in. Uh, then it goes the clutch. What are we missing? Ah, fuel rails. Of course, some nice high pressure injectors. Uh, a random fuel filter, we've got a red one of them. And there's obviously an exhaust manifold I forgot to put on at the bottom. Um, and then it's the clutch and the flywheel. And then we can drop this back into the thing, get the gearbox hooked back up. Obviously I have a light and racing flywheel. Um, and the push plate. And there should just be a release bearing to tag on the end. I'm not sure if I remember to get one of them. Oh nice, it doesn't always fine. Good enough. Um, so I think that's everything back on. So let's pull this engine off the crane. And using the engine crane, which is facing the wrong way, to the engine that goes in the rear, we'll install our brand new engine. There we go, so that's dropped in there nicely. Um, so let's have a look what we've got to retouch. Obviously the gearbox and the base exhaust section. So let's go up first um, and put these bits back in. Get it reconnected back up. So we've got the gearbox. I'm not sure why there's not a bolt there. Oh, it's because it's a starter motor bolt. Okay, fair enough. Get the starter motor put back in. Uh, we've got the front exhaust section to drop on. Uh, what else are we missing? Starter motor, the gearbox. Oh, drive shafts. Obviously. Would be a worthwhile addition. Oh, we'll stick the wheels on while we're here. See, so what I mean when I bought this car auction. Most of the stuff is perfect. It's like just a few tiny little specks of rust. Um, but I couldn't be bothered to do the, the whole going around repairing everything just for that. Um, didn't seem worth it, so I didn't bother. Apologies, I'm just a bit lazy when it's like that, things like that. So, we'll get this last rim put on. Okay, ah, the exhaust section there. There must be a manifold, or does that connect straight to the manifold? Okay, yeah, okay. All looks good, looking good. So, let's lower this down. Uh, get some oil in this car, and then, while I remember, because I always forget that. And then we'll head it over to the paint booth and see what we've got. Okay. So, let's head to the paint booth. Move. Oh, no, not assemble. Oh, we'll have a look at the bodywork first, actually, while we're here. Um, I was trying to remember what exactly I, I brought in variants. Uh, I think things like. Let's just try detaching some of these bits. Uh, and have a little look if there's any options. No, I think I've just got one in a different colour. Oh, blimey. That makes it look very strange having different colours. Some of these bits have, um, I thought I thought had, different options, you see. So, uh, no, it's just the standard option. Okay, we'll reassemble, reassemble the various... Ah, there's a headlight and a headlight B. Oh, yes, we definitely want the headlights up. In a sort of aggressive rally mode. Uh, so that's the headlight on there. For some reason it's got a Norwegian license plate. Is that all this stuff on? That's just cancel the headlight. Yeah, headlight, headlight. Yeah, okay. Looking good. Right, let's move this thing to the body shop, the paint shop then. And see what colour we can get it. Uh, I don't know if there's any liveries or not. No, not showing up, which is unfortunate. Uh, what colour are we going to go for? We definitely want a bit more saturation. Let's go for a red, a bit of a less metallic. Mm, a bit of metallic can be nice. What are we thinking? Red? Red probably the best. Could No, I think I think it's a bit of red. We want to try and get... Just the brightness slightly. 
because of a metallic red. I'm not quite sure why the liveries aren't working. There should be some liveries for it, I think. Um, which would have been cool, but not to worry. We will make do. Well, certainly an imp improvement over the, uh, over the green that it was, isn't it? Probably not, not quite how I'd go for it in room myself, but still. Um, we'll take it. So, let's... Cannot start engine. Okay. I've done something wrong. <laughs> What have I done wrong, guys? What have I forgotten? Cannot start engine. It's got oil. Um, it's connected to the gearbox. Starter motor is plugged in. Cannot start engine. What am I missing? Oh! Spark plugs. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, we might want we might want some spark plugs. Okay. I'll give you I'll go out yeah, that was pretty stupid. Let's just get them dropped in. Let's pretend that didn't happen, I think. Wow. Can't believe I did that. And now they're really hard to access as well. <sighs> right. Let's drop the six spark plugs in. And hopefully I won't have forgotten anything else. Out of fancy red ignition coils, but not to worry. Normal one should do just for the last bit. Okay, now let's try moving it to the dyno again. Move car. Hooray! <laughs> At least it starts now. So let's just quickly run it up the dyno, see what it's producing. Now we've got some of the modded parts on it, um, and then we'll take it out for a spin on the test track. You see a lot that this is something that they've added kind of since I've last been playing, things like, you know, telling you it's a modded car, that's all new stuff that wasn't in the game previously. They've written quite a lot as uh, factory standard for, for uh, the, the Strata, I think. Wow, we're now running 389. Wow, it's going to be an absolute beast, particularly for such a short wheelbase car. This thing is going to be nuts on the track, but particularly with a keyboard to use as well. <laughs> so, let's head out the door and head to the track. If I can get past the fans. Um, and we'll take it for a quick spin around. I suspect literally. I'm sure it's going to sound awesome if anything else. Oh, it's got a nice, a nice purr to it already. Well, it sounds good. Okay, let's give this thing a go. Yeah, it is rather fast, I must admit. Woohoohoo! Oops, off the wall already. So, well, I hope you. Jesus, this thing is twitchy, which I guess you would expect from a, a Stratos, but, um. The case with this much power, it makes it almost all uncontrollable, particularly with a keyboard. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Oops, oh, oh I don't know where I've ended up. Um, well now I've gone off track I think we'll end the video there <laughs> so I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and my crashing um, I certainly enjoyed doing the Stratos something a little bit different to what we normally do uh, it's, it's a very cool car um, shame the uh, livery wasn't working so we couldn't have it in sort of rally spec but still not to worry it still looks quite cool particularly with the headlights up so I hope you enjoyed this video if you have please give it a like let me know what you think in the comments down below and subscribe to the channel for more car mechanics simulator content Thanks guys, I shall see you next time.